Hi, everybody. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. And I'm here today to guide you through the lower body focused and core workout. Bump it a bump, kick and shut. All right. I'm recommending today that you have a couple of weight options. You don't have to use weights, but if you would like to bring an extra challenge, uh, that's what they're for. And also some sort of a stretchy uh, band. Yeah, all right, so take a moment, gather those things. I'm just gonna make sure that we're streaming properly. Maybe I'll turn another light on in here. It seems to be a little bit dark. Things look fine over here. All right, well, that means that we can get right into today's workout, which I'm mostly ready for. Yay. Ooh, as per usual, we're just getting away from our desks. So join me standing for a nice little side to side lateral step tap. And if you're feeling good, make that lateral step tap really big. Maybe you're even already adding in a little bit of a hop into your step tap, in which case shoulder rolls can be a little bit challenging, but you can still do a bit to roll back with these elbows. That's nice to see him featuring uh, my lottery tickets right here. Words News flash. I did not win. I did not win the lottery. But if I did, I think I would still work on each group exercise. All right, let's get like four more step hops. Three, two, one. Awesome. Oh, take a nice, just gentle little march through your feet. One more eight count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And now just add in a little kick. So just kick forward. You can add a snap if you want to as well. And if you feel really good, you can be adding a hop into your kick. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet, but I'm going to add in just a little bit of a bounce. So one more eight count. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Both feet come on down to the ground. Let's take a moment and just get in a couple of calf raises. Remember, if you did this with me the other day, you can always hold on to a surface if you need to. Just warming up the so lower body, dropping those ankles, feet, calves. Let's get four more. Last four. Three, the more you focus your eyes on one spot, the easier it is to balance through a move like this. Great. And now we're just going to do some alternating knee drives. So just pulling that knee up. Maybe even giving yourself a little bit of an arch back here. Feeling pretty tight and sore. So I'm still moving a little slowly, but if you want to move a little bit faster than me, Go for it. As always, you know, I love a nice, slower, intentional movement because I'm getting a lot more by me using my abs to drive that leg up than by just driving that leg up, not engaging anything and allowing momentum to do the work. Awesome. One last warm up move. Let's get a bigger kick forward. I'm taking three steps between getting into the hamstrings a little bit. Do your best to keep your chest up. If you can't touch your shin or your foot, that's totally okay. Just work to keep that chest nice and proud and lifted and toes flex back to your face. So let's get one more. Three, starting to engage through the abdominal core also to really help keep that upper body lifted. We did it, everyone. Let's get into our first Five minutes of circuit. Hopefully you have some water nearby. And you can grab a sip anytime that you want to. But before you reach for that sip of water, ask yourself, do I need it? 
Am I reaching for it in the middle of the circuit because I want to break? Which is normal. It's normal. Okay. But maybe you can push yourself for just these five minutes and then grab your sip of water because I'm going to give you a nice little break between each set. All right. First move that we're going to go for today is a nice wide leg squat. Wide, woo, wide leg squat into a big knee drive. Think about each time you bring your feet down towards the floor. You're doing so quietly with intention. So just like you're working to lift that leg up, you're working to lift that leg back down. And we're going to mix it in with an inch firm into six to eight mountain climbers. So you're just getting six to eight of each motion. It's up to you if you're going to think of this as one or you're going to think of that plus this as one. What can your body do today? Let's start our first five minutes in three, two, one. Here we go. So we got that nice big wide squat, knee drive, and then carefully bringing toes back down towards the floor. Each time you squat, weight is in your heels. And if you want to, you can be holding a weight into your hand here as well. I think I'm going to count one on each side as one. Now I might have lost count. Get my last two. One, and then coming back towards the back of the mat, walking forward into that plank. And I know I'm moving slowly, but I'm getting there as quickly as I can, honestly. Find that good form. And then six to eight mountain climbers. And you can move really fast, or you can keep it nice and slow. If being down here on the floor for your mountain climber doesn't work for you, you can always do your mountain climbers leaning against something like this desk over here. Oh my God, it's a dresser. And still get in six to eight right here. Still working to quietly get those toes back. So even if you're hopping, you're still hopping, but staying engaged. Like I could do a squat jump. I land really quietly. Could you hear me? I bet you couldn't. I'm going to add that in here. Why not? I could also do a squat jump where I land really loud on the floor. I have found my neighbor does not appreciate those. But even as you're jumping back into that mountain climber, if you're really engaged, you don't have to have a lot of slamming towards the floor. All right, two minutes down, three minutes to go. Just keep moving. Mountain climbers are not one of my favorite moves. <laughs> Just trying to get in six to eight feels so reasonable that I can actually push myself. Maybe you can push yourself for two or four. You're just working your way to be your best self. So keeping that chest up. Weight in the heels, heels, heels. Weight in the heel. Awesome. Having trouble keeping count today. That's okay. Hopefully you're doing a bit of a better job at home. But as you can see, I'm really trying to not waste time. Between each exercise, switching right from one into the other, minimizing the breaks. We got less than two minutes of work here to go. Oh, y'all, this is, this is the most I've done in over a, a week. Woo! It's been an interesting week, though. You know, you're, you're isolated, stuck at home. Did I have friends I could ask 
to buy me things? Yes. Did I ask them to help me out? Absolutely not. I could do it by myself. It's pretty much the attitude that I've had this past week. I also, you know, ran out of things to eat. That didn't sound absolutely disgusting. Uh, and I started making quite a bit of bread. It was easy to get down. Bread and broth. What a week. Not feeling my best still after the bread and broth party. Can't lie. So thankful to be able to come here today and do whatever we can. All right. 10 seconds left. Ah, let's take a nice long break. I'm going to give you just about two minutes to relax. Now's the time for you to grab some water. If you noticed you were struggling at all through the first set, take this time to put some music on. I'm going to gently resell my glass. All right, if you're like me and you are out of breath, focus on making your exhale a little longer than your inhale. Look, I am doing that will help to bring your heart rate down a little bit right now. You'll feel a little bit more relaxed and ready to keep going. When we start again in just about one minute with our next move. Uh -oh. All right. So if you do have a band, I encourage you to grab your band for this next round of moves. We're going to get a nice straight leg glute kickback. So I'm going to have the band. I could use a tighter band. I'm going to have the band right around the ankles. Oh, that's tight. That is quite tight, too. All right. Well, we're here to work, right? All right. So we're going to do the right side a couple times. Six to eight. Still the magical number. Have a nice standing squeeze. You're going to try to take that extra bend out of your back. So a nice tucking of the pelvis. Taking it back, maybe a little bit diagonal. That's move number one. Move number two is going to be a Romanian deadlift. I'm going to grab my heavier weight. I'm going to grab my easiest weight, in fact, for this one. And you can still keep this band on your legs. We're just going to hinge forward, feel the stretch in your hamstrings, and then lift yourself up. And once you've gotten six to eight of those, you're going to switch to the opposite leg kick back. And you can put this weight down, uh, and you can even hold on to something if you need to. Ooh, really squeeze your glutes. And get that kick back. You ready for five minutes? They start in three, two, one. So I'll do a little left leg here. There is a tiny little bit of a bend in that standing knee, just so it's not completely locked out. And yes, I am starting to sweat this much. All right, so we get six to eight on one side. And then a nice flat back, hip shift towards the back of the room. Squeeze glutes, a little press forward at the top. Control, control, control on the way down. You can make this a little bit more challenging if you want to. If you want to add in a little row action. Now I wish I brought two weights. You can add in that row to get a little bit more back work if you want to. Otherwise, get those six to eight on one side and then stand up. Ooh, really work to stack, stack, stack from your head to your standing leg heel. We want this to be hard. So if you do have a really tight band, we're not getting in that many whew, reps at a time. So 
just going to raise uh, the center of gravity here and this weight ooh, to my chest. So we feel a little bit more in the legs as opposed to when the weight was lower towards the ground. Ooh. So between these two moves, you should definitely feel, here, I'll release this weight to the ground, carefully lift up, a good burning in that backside here. Use the exhale as you squeeze to bring your heel back behind you. And remember, you do have this option. I'm not bringing it directly behind me. I'm bringing a little bit of a squeeze towards the side. Still slight bend in the standing leg. All right. Definitely know that was six to eight. Here we go. Back to those Romanian deadlifts. Or think of it as like a way to good morning. Woo, still driving hips back though. Pressing through heels. Woo, squeeze glutes to come forward. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally dripping sweat right here. I'm going to say it's because the air conditioning's off. All right, I do believe that was six to eight. Another option if you don't happen to have all these bands at home is doing this with ankle weights could also provide a similar challenge, maybe even doing it with both to get the weight and the extra resistance from the band. Are you feeling it in those hamstrings? I certainly hope so. If not, really think about gliding those glutes back a little bit more behind you. Woo! I'm gonna carefully place this weight down one more time and switch to the opposite leg kick back. Awesome, less than 30 seconds to go, but keep working all the way to the end. This is your circuit. Trust me, I want the change for you. I want the change for me too, but we gotta do this work. We gotta do the work. With challenge comes change. With consistency comes results. All right, we made it. We made it through round two. Go ahead, take your band off. Take your two-minute break. Oh, Jessica, so generous. What a lady. I know. So walk around a little bit. Try not to just completely stand still. Even if you're having a sip of water, you know, you can, like, gently uh, toe tap side to side. Maybe shaking those legs out. Ooh, I love a good hip circle. We got some inner inner thigh work coming up your way next. We got some side leg lunges. And then we've got some static lunges. And I wanted to be like, let's not do Bulgarian split squats. But I'm also like, man, let's do them. <clears throat> let's do them. All right, so we're gonna alternate. For the side lunges, starting off from the center, coming to one side, really focus as you step out also, A, quiet feet, and B, once feet are planted, really send, woo, 
whoo, your glutes towards the back of the room to feel that big stretch on your inner thigh. Your chest is going to come down a little bit, but you're still working to keep your chest up. Keep that nice flat back. And you can hold on to weights for this one. So I will. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to go for a static squat. Whether you go for a Bulgarian split squat or you just go for a static uh, static lunge. That's what I meant. Because a Bulgarian split squat is really a lunge. So you can either do it with your foot down on the floor behind you, just pressing down and lifting yourself back up with lots of weight in the front heel, or you can have that back toe up on a surface. All right. Alternating side to side lunges, six to eight and three, two, here we go. So starting from the center, step into the side. Maybe you tap down towards the floor. I'm adding in this little bicep curl as I'm standing up also. But you could also add a row in here, just in case you didn't last time. Ooh, and you wanted some. Awesome. So next, coming into our squat option. If you're going for the Bulgarian split squat, you want to be about two to three feet in front of the surface that you have your back leg on. Remember, lots of weight in your front heel. Keeping your chest up. We'll find one spot to focus your eyes. Oh, I'm gonna get the other side also. I know I'm moving a little slower in this round, but still moving, and that's all that really matters. With intention. Whoa. <laughs> Back to those side lunges. So as you step into the side lunge, think about what's happening with your feet. Notice if you're rolling towards the inner or outer edges of your feet and do your best to really keep a nice firm planting from your big toe through the pinky toe. We're coming to that halfway point right now, almost, almost halfway through the set. Whoa. Sweating so much, y'all. These weights are hard to hold on to. So if I need to, I'm just going to put them down because no excuses. Keep going. We're more than halfway there. We got one more exercise to do today after this round, and it's on the floor. Yep, so I bought some lottery tickets. When was that, like two weeks ago? When the Mega Millions lottery was over like 1.2 million. I've never bought lottery tickets in my life. Is that where I got COVID? Maybe. Literally, who knows? Anyway, I decided I was gonna waste $10. A $10 investment. 
and perhaps my future less than a minute ago. Because my dad kept being like, buy some lottery tickets. So then I told him. I went and I bought some. How much money did you spend? $10. Go back and buy some more. I'll pay for that. I was like, Dad, we've never bought lottery tickets in our life. I've wasted $10. That's pretty much all I can really bring myself. So literally throw money away. And then the next day, they called and they said, well, are we rich? And I said, we are, dot, 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 $10 in the hole, $10 in the hole. All right, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, we made it. I think that was the hardest set. The great news is you earned yourself a two minute break. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make that exhale longer than your inhale. Walk around, start to bring your heart rate down. Uh, I do encourage you to bring some weights for our very last round of moves. If you want, you can even use your band for a little extra challenge, a little extra work uh, in your glute bridge. Hip thruster. I'm going to give you two different options to work between also. Um, for the, the ab movement, because I couldn't decide on which to do. So it's your workout. I'm going to tell you about them both, and then you can decide. What a novel idea. Speaking of novels, is anyone reading anything good lately? I read John Waters' novel this summer. No comment. It was very weird. It was very weird. If you know me in real life, I'm happy to loan it to you. Now I'm enjoying a John Grisham book. Is that his name? No, I'm not enjoying a John Grisham book. I'm enjoying a Michael Connolly book. It was on sale, it's my favorite price. All right, so let's make our way down to the floor. Oops, for our very last round of movements. Ooh, yay, we got some glute bridges. So we're gonna lay down on our backs. If you want, you can bring a band. If you don't normally feel glute bridges in your glutes, Bring the band, you know, try, uh, try out the band, both just below the knee. And also you can try the band out just a little bit higher. But instead of having your heels completely in line, which can make it a little harder to really feel it in your glutes, gently turn your feet out a little bit. So instead of toes pointing at 12, my toes are pointing at like 11 and one o'clock, weight in the heels. And this band is just going to provide a little bit of resistance. So I'm going to have to work to keep uh, knees in line with hips for making this happen. You're just going to get six to eight because depending on how heavy of a weight that it is that you're using uh, and how much those feet are turned out and you're really feeling it in those glutes, that's all we need. And then option to either keep your feet planted on the floor and give me some little penguin heel tap side to side or sending your legs up towards the ceiling giving me an actual toe tap i think you're gonna do a little bit of both all right the last five minutes of work starts in three two here we go all right so move number one just getting these six to eight hip thrusters i definitely brought a heavier weight to the party so if you feel the same way Maybe after you finish one round, you grab yourself some heavier weights. Awesome. Once you've gotten six to eight, going for either 
some great toe taps. Or you're going for some of those penguin heel taps. Either way, you're working to get your shoulders up off of the mat. I'm going to grab that heavier weight. Pardon me. I despise that nose clearing sound, so I'm so sorry. Push into your heels. If you're doing these glute bridges, Ooh, glutes are tired. Awesome. And then just to keep things different, I'm going to do these oh, oblique crunches every other time. And I'm using my exhale to really get into that little squeeze right there as you get closer to your heels. And then reset yourself up. So heels are gently turned in and toes are gently point, turned out. We're well beyond that halfway point. Feeling tired. I hope that you're saying the same thing at home just a little bit more than a minute ago. So push yourself for just over ooh, one more minute. Can you reach a little bit further with your fingers? Can you hold onto that squeeze and contraction for just an extra millisecond? Final minute right now. Yay! I hope you push yourself to work right up until the timer. Go ahead, take this band off your legs. If you happen to be wearing one, draw both of your knees in towards your chest with the back of your head down on the floor. Chin slightly tucked towards your chest. Get as much of the back of your neck on the mat, of your shoulders on the mat, elbows stretching in the direction. Ooh. 
of your hips. And then soles the feet up towards the ceiling. Maybe you grab hold onto your toes. Maybe you're holding on behind the back of the knee. You can gently rock side to side. And if it feels good, you can even straighten your legs all the way out for a bigger stretch into your hamstrings here. Let's just take about three breaths. Because I know, oops, sorry, plant. I know we're rapidly running out of or already out of time. Awesome. Let's go ahead, bring the feet together, roll over onto all four, take a moment, big stretch through the back with a little bit of cat cow. I do recognize I kept you a little bit longer today. So I want to say thanks for sticking around. Definitely encourage you to stretch a bit more throughout the day. So whether that means ooh, send your glutes back towards your heels, take a little bit of child's pose here. So you can do the same big stretch into your shoulders, into your low back while sitting at your desk or while you're standing up from your chair. <coughs> Excuse me. Back into tabletop, tuck your toes under, send your hips up towards the ceiling, paddle through your heels. Big stretch into your calves. And you can press up onto your toes at any time during the day. Maybe while you are washing your hands next time you're in the bathroom. Or while you're drinking from your water bottle. Go ahead and walk your hands to your feet. Your feet to your hands. Take another moment and just relaxing your dangle. Make sure that you have a generous bend of your knees to bring your belly towards your thighs. So that there's some relaxation happening in your back, and then weight in your heels. Slowly roll yourself. Inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. If you have to leave, understood. But if you have an extra minute or two, let's keep stretching a little bit because it's going to make us feel good later. So finding some balance on one leg, coming into a nice quad stretch. We did a good number of quad moves today. See if you can get your two knees together in one line and then a squeeze of the glute, push your hips forward. Are your two hips in still in one line? Are your two shoulders still in one line? Am I speaking English? <laughs> I'm struggling right now. We're gonna release that leg, bring it forward and come into a figure four stretch. And you can do this one from a seated position as well. This is a great way to open your hips Ooh, while you're just sitting at your desk. And you can add a nice spine twist while you're sitting at your desk from this one as well, of even crossing your leg and using your chair or whatever you got over there uh, to, ooh, to help you take a nice little twist here. Oh no, I see I broke off part of my jade plant when I closed the blinds. And that's terrible. All right, let's go ahead and do the same stretches on the other side. So starting off with that nice standing Quad stretch. Getting your two knees in one line, two hips in one line. Standing really tall and proud, so grounding a bit more through your standing leg. And then coming into the figure four stretch. Obviously standing, it just takes a little bit more balance to be in this one. But now you know, you can easily do it from a seated position as well. And then while, whether ooh, you're standing or sitting, take a gentle little spine twist in the opposite directions, pulling your shoulders down away from your ears. Awesome. We made it. I think today went a lot better than yesterday, exercise-wise. And no matter what you did, I hope that you can say the same. I look forward to. Seeing you tomorrow for some core and stretch. Uh, and then again on Friday for yin. If you have any particular aches and pains, let me know. Let me make a class for you. I will see you later. Have a great rest of your day.